Hi Earth Signs, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your bonus general reading for February 2019. It's for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is Insight to Your Secret Message. So if you did not resonate with your signs individual reading for February, this may resonate with you more or it could be just a bonus message for some of you. So please keep that in mind. Like I always say, we could pick up on past, present, or future energies. Um, this may or may not resonate with every single person out there. So please keep that in mind. You're welcome to watch other readings on my channel for other signs in your chart. If you know them, your moon sign, Jupiter sign, rising sign, Venus sign. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like how I read, please uh, subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. You'll be notified when I post a new reading. Um, like the videos. It's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube is if they are liked. And so the people that need to hear and see these messages may see them. Comment. I love to read all the comments and I do respond and go through them. Uh, share. Share to your heart's content all over the um, social media wherever you'd like to share it. Um, you can check the description box below for the decks I'm using. I do personal readings, so my email is there. You can email me and we can work something out. Um, I generally do about 20 minutes for about 30 bucks. So whatever you 20 to 25 depends, you know, um, or you can go to my Etsy page. The link is there. I have a variety of listings uh, for readings on my Etsy page. My PayPal link is below. If you wish to donate, contribute, exchange of energy, tip for the free readings I provide here for you guys. They do take time and energy, but it's something I truly, truly love to do and I'm passionate about for you guys. So any tip, no small amount is too small, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. Um... So I think that's about it. Um, just a big thank you to all my new subscribers for all your support and those who have ordered um, purchased private readings. It's greatly appreciated. So we're going to get started here now for you guys, for you Earth signs, Virgo, Tar Taurus, Capricorn. We're going to pull, just like the other readings, we're going to see what kind of energy you may be dealing with. And if you're not dealing with whatever energy comes out, that's totally fine. Like I say, take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. So if a sign comes out and you're not dealing with that sign, then just throw that card away. Please keep in mind, you may have this sign in your chart. If we do get a sign or they can have it in their chart, if it's not their sun sign. I just saw Sagittarius, so I don't know if any of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. I just saw Aquarius, so... But let's see what spirit wants to pull. Wow. Okay, spirit. Can we have one card for the earth signs of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn? For who some may be dealing with for this bonus general reading for February 2019 for the general collective watching my channel. Wow. Sun, which represents Leo. So some earth signs could be dealing with a Leo. And the sun represents growth, harmony, joy, success, victory, um, happiness. It can be uh, a new cycle starting. It can be um, something new coming into your life. It can also be birth, children. So you take that however it resonates. Let me see. I don't want to miss anything. So I'm just going to read a little bit about the sun. Uh, associated with your birthday. Express your sense of self. Self-image, self-esteem, individuality, identity, personal creativity. So that also plays a factor. But in the tarot, it also means happiness, joy, and all those things too. So let's see what that has to do with you guys, how it affects you guys. Okay, so we have the Life Purpose Oracle here. And we're going to see 
And earth signs are, in the tarot, are the pentacle signs, which represent monetary material. And it's so funny because green represents monetary material. And this deck is green. I just realized that. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what your bonus message is here. Wow, it was really fast. Really fast. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So this could be about career. Maybe you're going through a new cycle in your career. Maybe you're changing careers. Maybe you're advancing in your career in some way. So we'll see how that plays out for you guys. This is the Fairy Tarot. So we're going to get about eight tarot cards here to clarify for you guys what you need to trust. So maybe you're having a little bit of doubt about something in your career, about moving forward. Maybe you guys are a little leery about taking a promotion. Maybe you're scared. Maybe you're fearing it. And you're not sure what to do, but it's saying here to trust your feelings. Because I see with the sun here, there's much abundance and joy to be had and success. Okay, so let's see a few earth signs. These cards are very big, so I'm going to do my best to shuffle them. Signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Spirit, please, can we have eight cards to clarify this situation, please? Okay, so you have life experience. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. So this is the tower. And the major arcana and this is about a major event happening in your life something could um usually the tower represents a breakdown of something something major happening could be aries can be positive change it can make you stronger which the sun represents Leo and also the strength card represents Leo. So you're probably going through something and maybe a big shakeup or breakdown or maybe um, some sort of life-changing event. But it's also going to bring on opportunities for you. But I feel like you're not trusting the opportunity coming in and maybe it has to do with your career. And look at this, you have the Ace of Spring. This is the Ace of Wands. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Wow. Trust your feelings and dreams here. And we have it's be fearless, be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. Wow. So Spirit confirming that here with this card. This could be something happened maybe in one job and you now you have this new opportunity here it's a brand new beginning with the ace is a brand new beginning and it could be a new career path a new something new maybe it's something that you've never done before and that's why it scares you a little bit um maybe it's something you've always wanted to do but maybe you're just having a little insecurity about pursuing it or going forward. Okay, so can we have a few more cards here. Two, five, five, thank you. Got two. So we have the Eight of Summer. This is the Eight of Cups, the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. Wow. So this is walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling for you. 
So whatever this shakeup was, breakdown was, is something you felt you had to walk away from anyway. It was no longer fulfilling for you. Ego, 15. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. So... So here we have over here, be fearless with the Ace of Spring. And over here it says getting caught up in fear and worry. So ego, this deck is a little bit different. So number 15, ego, I just want to check. The devil, that's what I thought it was. So this is kind of a... The devil represents, you know, um, like it says here, ego, sometimes a little bit of negative negativity in your mind, negative um, emotions or feelings. So maybe you're caught up, like I said, in your ego about taking on this new beginning because you're fearing it and you're not sure maybe that you can do it because it says fear and worry. So, let's see here. And oops, the devil there is Capricorn energy. So this could be a specific message for Capricorn. We have uh, Eight of Summer, Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Spring is uh, Fire. Leo Sag Aries. So, you know, maybe uh, if this has to do with your career, this could be signs of people around you that you know. So let's see. We have the Queen of Winter. It's the Queen of Swords. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Wow. Unmarried or divorced individual. So maybe you're single or divorced, but you know, you don't have to be, but this is someone that, um, stands in her truth. She doesn't take anyone's BS. She speaks with truth and clarity. She stands her ground, stands up for herself, cuts away things that are no longer serving her. So it's right under the tower here. So whatever happened for you, whatever experience you went through that shook things up for you, you're standing in your truth now, standing up for yourself, cutting away things that no longer serve you. And it could be this job, maybe, or career. Oh, wow, and then you've got two queens here. Queen of Summer. And this is um, Cups Energy. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And with the Queen of Winter, this is uh, Swords. So that is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So with the Queen of Summer, loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Take care of others, perhaps too much. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. Maybe this other uh, career you had or job, you had too many responsibilities. And now you just finally stood up for yourself. Maybe there was a big shakeup tower moment there. And then you decided to walk away, but now you have a new opportunity. Maybe it's something totally different, but you're a little scared here. You have fear and worry. And this could be, there's two queens here, two energies. This could be just your energy of standing up for yourself. Maybe you're loving and caring and nurturing too. And comforting. And maybe you just tended to the needs of others just maybe a little too much and like I said maybe had too much responsibility so I have two more cards for the earth signs of Virgo Taurus and Capricorn and we have two so we have Prince of Spring charming self-confident passionate restless Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. 
So this is Wands of Fire Signs, Leo Sag Aries. This is an action card. Coming forward, taking action. Passionately, uh, with excitement, joy, and vigor. Um, effort. And then you have the Five of Spring, opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. So this talks about, again, fire uh, sign here with the wands, five of spring, conflict. This just could be conflict in your mind because it's right under the ego card. So spirit confirming that. I think this conflict in your mind, in your ego getting in, in the way with fear and worry about this new opportunity. But you want to move forward you're excited about it. You feel the passion and you feel like a new sense of purpose and you want to move forward, but yet you have this fear, fear and worry and ego and conflict in your mind. So let's see, but it's telling you here to trust, trust in your feelings and dreams to guide you because you do have victory, success, glory happiness over here with the sun card growth expansion so let's see what the bottom of the tarot has to say for you seven of summer no more procrastinating your power comes from making a decision confusion that arises from over analyzing the options so this is a uh, water sign signs cancer scorpio pisces seven cups talks about um, looking at all your all your options, having to make a decision, maybe some confusion. Um, maybe are, you are overanalyzing this new opportunity. What if I can't do it? What if it doesn't work out? What if it's too overwhelming? What if I'm not a success? So again, here with the conflict and the ego in your mind of overanalyzing it. But it's calling for you here just to take action. You've already walked away from this other life experience that was no longer serving you. Cutting cutting away, being strong, what was no longer serving you. You stop being over-nurturing or taking on too much responsibility. That just was way too much. And this also could be you knowing your self-worth, knowing your self-love knowing what you want to do, what is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you with the Queen of Summer, the Queen of Cups. So let's see, we'll go a few under here. Ten of Winter, the resolution, resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. This is the Ten of Swords, talks about an ending, a completion. Tens are about endings and completions. Ten of Swords is usually about, um, it is about um, something at a total loss and it's now complete. It's the end of that. So whatever this was is the end of that. And you have the Queen of Spring, Leo Sag Aries. Brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly, believe in yourself, wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. And this is someone who is passionate, um, creative um she's a hard worker she's brilliant loyal talented friendly she goes after what she wants with a lot of drive and ambition so this could be you know you got three queens here wow three queens completion confusion so, I mean, you could have three best friends around you, or this just could be all your energy. There's a need, you know, you've already cut away what's no longer serving you. Knowing your self-worth, your self-love, knowing what you want to do that will fulfill you. And here, the Queen of Spring, one signs take action. They go after what they want. It's telling you to go after what you want. Because now you have the Two of Spring, Two of Wands, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnering with others who share your dreams great progress being made so this is about having a couple of options and choosing what option you're going to go on choosing what path you're going to go on 
So it's telling you here to choose that path that is best, best suited for you. It's right here. And here's the new beginning. A lot of fire energy here, which just comes confirms with sun, which is the uh, fire energy of Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo or a fire sign. Maybe it's a best friend. Maybe it's co-workers. We just about have every sign on the board here. So um, specifically Capricorn, Aries. But all the signs are here. So let's see what your extra oracle guidance card is from the bottom of the deck speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of orient or oration. So maybe... Maybe that's what you're nervous about. Maybe you're going to be a public speaker of some kind. Or this could be just you needing to speak your truths or you have spoken your truth, confirming here with the Queen of Winter speaking up and, you know, standing up for yourself and speaking for yourself. So however it resonates for you, you take that how it resonates. If you're going to be some sort of leader now in your career maybe it's a new leadership role you're taking where you have to do a lot of speaking in front of groups maybe that's what you're nervous about or some sort of public speaker maybe you're going to be the lead in your department manager ceo or something big where you're very nervous about it, but something, I see that you have a desire to do. You just have to get over your ego here and just move forward because you can do it with the sun here and trust, just trust in yourself that you can do it. Okay, Earth Signs, that was your bonus reading for February 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated in some way. If it did, please comment. Let me know. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like the videos. Uh, share, share, share. Thank you so much. So good luck to you, whatever you're doing here, whatever you're moving forward with. Best of luck to you. And um, sending you much love and light and blessings. And take on that opportunity here and shine your light.